Snapseed topic has become a series now for this channel. I can't help it. Snapseed has a lot of really cool and useful features that I want to share with everyone. I still have at least two more Snapseed videos planned after this. In case you want to watch my introduction video for Snapseed, check out the link that will pop in the upper right corner of the screen and also the links of all the related Snapseed videos from the video description below. In this video, I'm going to show how you can make a face photo look on another angle and even make the face smile. I'll also show you how you can perform the Pixel Phone's magic eraser feature using Snapseed, which has been a long-time feature of Snapseed, years before Google made it a highlight feature of their phones. I'll also show you how you can change the perspective of your photo, all with easy and simple steps. It's like performing magic tricks with your existing photos. Let's begin. Alright. Snapseed is open on my phone now. Let's open a picture here. Let's try my ZenBook 13 OLED picture. This picture already has a good angle, but if you want to change that, you can go to the tools, then perspective. You have four options here to change the picture's perspective. First is the tilt. You can swipe up and down, or left to right, to change the tilt of the picture. You'll notice some black spaces on the corners after you tilt the picture. Don't worry about that, since the AI of Snapseed will automatically fill that black spaces. If you don't want to auto-fill the spaces, you can tap on the middle icon, then select white or black. But, why would anyone do that? I highly suggest to keep it on smart, so that it will auto-fill the spaces created by the tilt movements. The wand icon here is for the auto-adjust. When you tap that, the Snapseed AI will go to work and select the best possible natural angle for your picture, and then apply it automatically. The rotate option here is pretty much self-explanatory. It's for rotating the picture. Then the scale is for changing the size of the photo. Side swipe stretches the picture to the sides, while vertical swipe makes it taller or shorter. The last option is free. As the name implies, you're free to stretch any part of the picture for this option. The picture looks horrible now, so let's do an auto adjust again. Let's do some more tilt here. Then tap the check icon to apply the changes. Here's the difference between the original picture and the edited perspective. Just swipe up and hold to view the original picture, release to view the edited. Let's open another picture to do one more example. Let's do another perspective change here. Just editing the tilt here to have a straight angle on the welcome 2022 part of the cake. There we go. In just around 10 seconds, we were able to adjust the angle of the shot seamlessly. Just like magic. Now let's do a cooler magic trick with a photo. Here's a sad man photo here, but not for long. We'll make him happy later. Let's go to tools then head pose. The two icons below correspond to, adjust, and head pose. Head pose icon is, by default, selected. While on head pose, you can swipe the screen to change the angle of the subject's face, as you can see here. You can make him face a different angle. When you tap the adjust icon below, you'll have two more options that you can change. The pupil size, smile and focal length. The magical part here is the smile. See what happens when I adjust the value of smile. I have magically made the man smile. Now he doesn't look as miserable as the original photo. You can also try to adjust the pupil size and focal length, but I don't really see any much difference, at least on this picture. The smile feature is really the money on the bag for this one. Let's apply the changes to compare the difference. So here's the original. Here's the edited. Original. Edited. Let's zoom in a bit. Sad. Happy. I told you, these are literally magic tricks for the photos. Now for the third and last magic trick that I'll show you. Let's open a new picture. This is a good shot of a Christmas tree, but there are some people on the background that I want to get rid of. To do that, let's go to the tools, then healing. Now, let's just brush off these people from the picture. There you go. Google is actually marketing this as one of the best features of their Google Pixel 6 phone series. But, in reality, this has been a feature of Snapseed for many years now. It might be new for the Pixel phones, but it's an old existing feature for Snapseed. There's still some shadows here. Let's get rid of that as well. There we go. I have a clean shot of the Christmas tree now. Here is the original picture with three people on it, and here is the edited. A really neat magic trick for your photo. Let's do another one. This is a good use case for healing feature of Snapseed. See here, the picture looks great, but there's a lot of trash around the ground. By using the healing feature, we can literally clean up the picture. Just brush off all the trash. There we go. 
Here's the original dirty picture. Here's the edited cleaner picture. The touch of magic. Alright. That's all I have for this video. Watch out for at least two more Snapseed tips and tricks videos soon. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.